I can get why people's perception of Kodo would be bad, but unless you've actually lived here, then there's no, like you don't, you don't really know. Kawara is a small town in the Bay of Plenty with a population of 7,000, but its reputation is much bigger than the size would suggest, and not in a good way, with unemployment and truancy rates among the highest in New Zealand. And the town is constantly in the news. Only last month, a Mango mob member was shot dead by police after robbing a bank. But locals say it's not all bad. In fact, living in Kawero has been a lifesaver for 18-year-old trans person Oliver Tapaki Thorpe. A huge amount of anxiety and I was really, really depressed. Um, and being able to be here and be honest about who I am with myself and with everyone around me, um, that's really freeing. Oliver was raised in Japan and then lived in Brunei in Southeast Asia. Oliver says tough laws in the small Islamic country meant it was difficult to come out as an LGBT person. He moved back to Kawero with his mum almost three years ago. I got a lot of people being like, be careful, like don't put yourself in a place where you might get hurt or something like that. The school that I went to here in Kawero, Talabora, it's immediately everyone was, you know, all the staff were really accepting. And just down the road, Charles Maki Hohepa agrees. He was brought up in Ornepu, just outside of Kawero, but he went to school in the town and raised his family there, where he spent 48 years working at the mill. Things that go wrong in our town, you know, for sure, but it's no different to any other town. Similar to other towns, but Kawero's reputation is backed by some alarming statistics. And although Mia Malcolm Campbell wouldn't appear on camera, he did say the council is committed to turning those statistics around. Shiloh Kenor, Local Focus.